Hey, y'all. It's me again, Valerie. And welcome back to my yarn room. Yay! Okay. Before we get started, I would like to invite anybody who has not already to hit that word subscribe. When you do, give the videos thumbs up, share them if you can, and leave me a comment. All right. Y'all see this beautiful square I've got here? I mean, you can't really tell that it's a square until I do it like that. And no, I have not sewed in my ends. <laughs> All right. This is a one row repeat square. Okay. And I mean, you can do it in any stitch. Because all it is, all I did was single crochets in back loop only. And it gives it those ridges. That's it. Now, y'all want to learn how to do this? It is super, super simple. And you can make it as big or as small as you want. And you can even make it in different colors. Totally up to you. Um, I'm actually making these to make a blanket for someone close to me. Now, I'm going to make a certain number of this color red, a certain number of this color in black, and then I'm going to make some that are uh, where the, the, the ridge pieces are red and the underneath ones are black. And then some of them where the underneath pieces are black and the, the, the ridge pieces are uh, red. So, or I don't know if I said that right or not, but y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Anyway, I'm going to make it plaid. So, let's get started. I'm going to use a lighter color because it'll be easier to see on film. And, I mean, you can do it with any weight yarn you want. I'm using a worsted weight. And uh, just make sure that the hook you use is comparable to the, the size needed for the, the yarn. And I'm using a uh, Susan Bates... Uh, J10 six millimeter hook and I put the rubber bands on it to make it an ergonomic handle um, Anyway, because this is my favorite hook in the whole wide world. I got this hook from my mother when I was very very young and She got it from somebody. I, I don't know. It was either my Aunt, um, or uh, my grandmother, or um, I don't, I don't know. She, she don't remember. All right, so you you put a slip knot on your hook, and you chain two. Okay. Now, I use the bumps on the back to start. Just something I do. You can go into the side of the stitch if you want to. A lot of people go right here. Into the side of the stitch. If that's how you want to do it, by all means do it. But I prefer to go in the bump on the back. And in that bump on the back of that first chain you make. Not, not the second one. Because we've got to ha have a turning chain. We're going to put three double crochets or single crochets good gracious i can't even think okay then we're going to chain one for a turning chain and we're going to turn our work all right now we've got three single crochets right there okay now 
most of the time when I'm doing back loop only, the first and the last stitch, I go into both loops. But this one, I don't. So, we're going to go into the back loop. And the way you know the back loop is this. Okay. That right there is your first stitch. The loop right there of the V that is closest to you. That one. Just that one. That's your front loop. The one behind it that's furthest away from you, that's your back loop. So, what we're going to do, tighten my yarn back down. And even I have to turn my work up so that I can see my bees. We're going to go into that back loop and we're going to put a single crochet. One in the first one. Okay, now, to make it actually squared, always that middle one, you're going to go into it and put three single crochets. So, one, two, three. Now, what I like to do Let me grab one. What I like to do is after I do them three, I like to take a stitch marker and slide it through that middle one so that I don't forget where I'm at there. And then your last one, you're going to put one. And then you're going to chain one and you're going to turn. Okay, and then you're going to put a single in that one. Back loop only. A single in that one. Okay, now we're back at the top. So, after it, I'll have one, two. So, we're going to take our stitch marker out. And we're going to go into that top one. And we're going to put three in it. Now this would probably be gorgeous in uh, half doubles. But I just, I prefer, oh wait a minute. I almost forgot to put my stitch marker. So... Our three is here, here, and here. So, we want to put the stitch marker in the middle one. Okay, and then I've got two more. So, back loop only. We're going to put one in each. And then we're going to chain one. And you can already see the pattern starting. And each row, you'll have one more up here. Because you're increasing here in the middle. And you see, it's already like forming into a square. Anyway, that is a, that's the whole pattern right there. You put one in each back loop only and but that top one that you put a stitch marker in you put three in it each time back loop only and when you get done well I got something on it there we go and when you get done you've got this Or this, or this, or this. <laughs> anyway, okay, now, the way to sew them together. I'm going to sew them together to where all these are the same direction. So, 
So, the one that I put here, that middle seam will be going the same direction. And then over here, it'll be going the same direction. And under here, the same direction. And over here, the same direction. All right, y'all. That's going to be all for today. And I will meet you back here in the next one for another grand adventure right here in Val's Yard and Room. And I truly do love each and every single one of y'all to pieces. And do something nice for somebody. Even if it's just a smile. Or you could crochet them something. <laughs> That's real nice. Crochet somebody something. I'm uh, actually working on a great nephew gift. Um, apparently he loves Paw Patrol and Spider-Man. So, I'm working on crocheting something for him. All right, y'all. I guess there ain't nothing left to say except for get your crochet on. I'm gonna. Bye, y'all. Uh...